Up next, my first impressions of the synth, Lethal. Mm. So we're going to do two things in this video. First, I'm going to let you listen to a track that I couldn't help but start when I uh, f was trying to review Lethal. And the second thing uh, is we'll actually create a really boring loop and I'll show you how the presets work and kind of get into some of the core features that make Lethal stand apart from other synthesizers. So first, uh, I'm going to play this, this track. And what I want you to uh, notice while I'm playing the track is that there are five different instances of Lethal with five different sounds that are playing. And just, just listen to how musically engaging they are. I couldn't help, I was trying to just make weird sounds and I couldn't help but make a song. So that's really important uh, and we'll talk about that after you listen. <laughs> We'll turn down the vocal sample. And we'll turn down the drums a bit. Turn off these effects. So here's Latham. And those sounds, they're just fun. And, and here's really what I'm getting at, is synths tend to either make or break a track for me. And what that what I mean by that is if I'm building a track, I want to stay creative. And a lot of synth, synthesis, if you're not used to synthesis, uh, it can be cumbersome and you can turn a knob and all of a sudden you broke the sound and you're trying to fix it. I.e., if you've ever used FM8 or you've ever used Massive and you had no idea what you're doing, you probably broke more sounds than created amazing sounds. Lethal, you have to try hard to make it sound like garbage. You have to really try hard. And if you're looking to just sound good much of the time, stay creative, this is a great tool to have in your toolkit. The sounds are very current. And uh, so let, up next, let's actually go through some of the presets. And then I'm going to show you some of the cool features like the transgate, how the effects work. And then we'll end everything with the filter because it's worth noting, it just sounds super good. So uh, let's, um, let's start a boring loop. I'm going to turn these effects on. So we're in the EDM lead section. They just sound big. They sound brash. They're in your face. They sound perfect for much of what you want to do, other than you probably wanted to sweep in and out with the filter and or kind of have a rhythmic pattern like we were hearing earlier uh, in my track. That was achieved with the Transgate. And what the Transgate does is it chops up the sound uh, from that big, bold brash, um, and it stutters it and sends that into the effects section, making a nice trancey feel. Uh, so we're going to go first and listen to um, some of the different presets, and then I'll show you you can, you can make your own presets, um, and all of this will be in future tutorials. So again, just giving you an overview. Uh, I'm going to turn the trance gate on, and we're going to hit play again. <laughs> And the cool thing is you can mix between wet and dry. And check this out. It even has stereo. Right click to detract, left click to add. Kind of like that. Take a look at the effects. Let's say the reverb's a little too much. And I want to add a delay. But I want that before my reverb. Just click and drag. And I want to add a little distortion. Put that at the very beginning. And I can bypass, here's before and after. So it's very easy to get a super cool sound going, have a lot of chaos going on. Uh, but as I was adding things, you'll notice um, it was really 
nothing sounded bad the whole time. Um, and that's just a feature that I, that I really appreciate, um, is it's really hard to mess stuff up. Um, so one last thing before, uh, before I end this first, um, impressions video is the filter. The filter sounds really great. And I'm just going to put everything in the envelope generator. Uh, the filter has its own envelope generator. We'll talk about that in future videos. Uh, I'm putting that all to neutral so that you can hear just me sweeping in and out and then some resonation, resonation, <laughs> some resonance uh, as well. So uh, let's listen to the filter. <laughs> distortion off there resonance so there you go it sounds amazing um, really hard to mess stuff up here um, like I say in the future videos we'll, we'll take a look at all of the uh, the different features at the bottom here and all of the knobs etc what they do but again um, pick it up it's it's worth your time um, the very very last thing I will mention you're, you're probably wondering well where's all the FM synthesis where's all of the wavetable synthesis what kind of synth is it it is sample based um, so that's that's one thing I should throw in this video. These are all samples, um, and they sound good. And there will be future packs uh, released um, to stay even more current. So that may be the one downside if you're like a synthesis nerd um, and you really want a lot of control of the sound that you're manipulating, as opposed to you have a really robust sound and the way you manipulate it is is what makes it iconic. Um, for you and your sounds, uh, that might be the one downside. But as far as I'm concerned, being someone who does love raw synthesis, um, this kept me super creative. So if you're looking to make music, um, this is definitely worth checking out because much of the time you don't want to sit there and mess with the synth and, and you don't want to mess with knobs and break stuff and fix it and then lose your train of thought. This allowed me to stay, um, more creative longer and then ultimately if I wanted to then use a pattern with you know I have other synths everyone has more synths that you can really get into the nitty-gritty of the synthesis um, but you're probably gonna get pretty darn close to the sound that you hear in your head um, with these presets and then the shaping you can do uh, with the pitch with the filter with all of with the vibrato the drive and then of course all of the effects you've got um, some really quality sounding effects. You're probably going to get what you hear in your head um, by and large. So uh, check us out for future videos on both Liebethal, Ableton Live, and other synth and gear reviews. It has been a pleasure. Again, this has been Torsen reviewing Lethal, my first impressions. Subscribe, and we'll see you in future videos. Mmm.